This is unbelievable, guys. So a couple days ago, I saw this tweet from B-Red, and as you can see, it is captioned before the nerf, $40 Canadian, and after the nerf, $14 Canadian. So what he's referring to is in the picture, you can clearly see from the screenshot, the Evolved Firecracker, six of these shards, 14 Canadian dollars, this tweet a ton of support over 2,000 likes and it's just unbelievable they basically are lowering the price now that the evolved firecracker ended up getting a nerf and look at this remember this tweet from brad from a couple weeks ago on july 19th he said very interesting the two nerfed evolutions are the ones that already had exclusive 40 dollars deals to unlock them so in other words guys just because the evolved firecracker is worse now i'm sorry i just can't stop myself from laughing it's just so funny it's comical at this point like this game isn't even a strategy game anymore. So basically, just because they nerf the card and it's worse, they lowered the cost. It's almost a quarter of the cost it was just because they nerfed it. This guy actually tagged me, boss CR video and coming while well, he was right. You can actually predict what card they're going to nerf next by seeing which card has an exclusive offer in the shop. It's insane, man. Bro, I just can't stop dying of laughter right now. It's just insane. Absolutely insane. Card evolutions have legit no way to get them free to play. Got back into the game a few weeks ago, and this was the most jarring part. Why can't I use my favorite cards evolved if I'm actually playing a bit each day? Garbage game, quit playing almost two months now. And yeah, just all the comments are hitting on this. It's just insane. Every day, it just seems to get getting crazier and crazier. And here's the other thing, guys. Free-to-play players have such a hard time getting evolution shards. In fact, it's nearly impossible to evolve them as a free-to-play. It takes forever. Am I missing something, or did they straight up lie? So you can see here, evolution shards, where to find them. And one of the places it says is Path of Legends. I swear, I can't find anything in Path of Legends that helps me unlock and evolution and then the comments it says so the people who spend money basically have seven times the progress a free-to-play player has correct as a free-to-play i can say with confidence that my relationship with supercell is best described as an abused girlfriend who knows he is terrible but he's too sexy to leave or stockholm syndrome and yeah guys a pro tweeted this out he said are we just going to ignore the fact we got one shard the whole season in other words is as a free-to-play player it takes six months to evolve one card. Six months just to evolve one card. Five months left for the second evolution. Oh my goodness. But guys, I guess all the offers and the cash grab is technically working, so I'm kind of hesitant if they're going to make big changes, which is kind of unfortunate because here's the revenue, and then this guy posted the picture from that site where in videos I've shown the revenue before too, and in the last month, Clash Royale earned $12 million, which is higher. Now, I believe this is the iOS revenue, but if I remember correctly, I believe it was $8 million. So it went up $4 million, or at least went up $1 or $2 million. So that means that all these, you know, boycotts that were going on on Reddit or people saying they weren't going to spend money or quitting doesn't seem to be working because the revenue is going up, but that's kind of in a way bad news, especially for free to play players, because it likely means if they're earning more money, then I don't know if they're going to change anything. So the question is, is this going to hurt them long term? Is this going to be just a short term money grab? And then eventually people are just going to have enough and quit the game? I don't know. I guess only time will tell. Gentlemen, these are the facts as I understand them. So Clash Rails getting compared to Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. Owned by Greedy Company Supercell, owned by Greedy Company EA. Requires months of playtime that can be skipped with pay to win. Requires months of playtime that can be skipped with pay to win or modding the game files. Devs don't listen to the player feedback. There are no devs to listen to the player feedback. Has funny bearded mustache man KFC. Oh, Ken. Has funny bearded mustache man fry him up. Ooh, Archer Queen, and then the Sunflower. <laughs> okay, pick your winner, guys. Clash Royale now versus then. Clash Royale in 2022, 2021, 2022, and 2023. Clan Wars 2, Phoenix on release, Diamond Pass exclusive, <laughs> Ultimate Special Offer, the data. I'm so glad they include the data. That's a big one. Evolve Firecracker slash Royale level 15. And then Clash Royale in the olden days, 2016, 2019. Oh, the achievements. Yeah, those were really good. I actually don't know why they took those away. The original Clan War. 
Oh yeah, when you unlocked a legendary, yeah, that was really exciting. Oh, the quests, and then, what is that, the clan chests? Oh yeah, super magical chests. I remember those days, those were the good old days. Still miss old CR to this day, where there are lots of rude people in Clash Royale back then because it's gotten so out of hand now. Yeah, there were lots of crying laughing modes. I mean, yeah, the BM was still crazy back in the day too. Would you buy this offer? Express yourself. Nice, you're welcome, sorry, no, ha ha, goodbye. A thousand gems, low key, that is one of the best offers I've ever seen. If that was in my shop, I would 100% buy it because we have, we've had the same old text for what, seven years now, ever since the game came out. I'd love some new text to mix it up. That would be cool if you could customize it. Only if they had 15 times the value. Yes, otherwise it's not worth anything on God. And I thought this post was hilarious. He was right under our noses this whole time. We now know how B-Rad is so good at Clash Royale. He retired from physics to become a Clash Royale pro. Sheldon Cooper from the hit show Big Bang Theory named his dog after himself like an egotistical genius would. And I have said this, or someone said this such a long time ago, B-Red does look just like Sheldon Cooper. I mean, actually, the resemblance is just insane. 10 out of 10 posts made my day. The data shows that B-Red is now a Chad Clash Royale user who enjoys playing random decks or challenges and is addicted to dogs. Oh boy, someone's going on a rant for the Super Witch Challenge. Ran out of budget to make a new challenge or are they just lazy? Nothing about the Super Witch is new. It was released a long time ago. It gives off a feeling they completely gave up on the game and must resort to using old stuff to keep it afloat. Pathetic, really. So Clash Rail tweeted out on Twitter, she has the power of three witches and is your command of the new hashtag super witch challenge. So yeah, apparently they're recycling old game modes in the new, all they had to do was say returning. Yeah, it's, it's so weird. It's like as if they didn't even know or they forgot about it. It just does seem lazy because if they are recycling a challenge, you would think they would say returning or it's like, we're bringing it back. They probably copy and pasted their previous message. So here's an idea for the Royal Ghost Evolution. Let's see what it says. He remains invisible even when attacking. Bro, oh my gosh. That's probably gonna actually be its evolution. And here's a new card concept. It's called Air Raid, and it's an idea brought by ChatGPT. Wait, what does that mean? It's by AI. But anyway, it basically drops a Mega Minion, Minions, and Bats, and it's temporary only. I mean, this could actually be balanced low-key, especially if it only lasts for, what is it, like three seconds or so? Oh no, if you know, you know. Oh bro, <laughs> I know what that emote means, 10. <laughs> and the music just makes it even funnier. Oh my gosh. So yeah, guys, like I've said before, really interesting times right now inside of the game. We're talking about the game and these discussion videos are more entertaining than playing the game itself. That's why I haven't been doing a ton of gameplay videos recently. I'd like to start doing them again soon, but... Quite frankly, playing the game right now is just not as entertaining as discussing it. So I am glad you guys are enjoying these discussion videos and I plan to keep them up if you guys continue to enjoy them.